You okay, Allie? Are you scared? I don't blame you, buddy. I'm scared, too. These storms have been making me nervous all season. There's a crane bug, a crane fly right there. Look at that. He just landed on the window. He's probably hiding from the storm. There was a tornado 12 miles away from where we are. And a barn collapsed. And there was a woman that was missing. I think she turned out to be okay, but it was terrifying that it was 12 miles away and it was an EF2 tornado. So it wasn't even a one. So every time there's been a storm or a storm coming, it's just been so scary to me. And you can hear the thunder as I'm talking right now and I've been praying over it, but I don't know. It's weird because in Buffalo, I never had to, I never was afraid of thunder of um, thunderstorms and, and potential tornadoes. And then last year when we were here, I don't know if we ever mentioned this, but last year when we were here in July, there was a tornado warning. It was going to expire in 20 or 25 minutes. And there was no way that I could get that. I was here by myself. Sal was working somewhere in the campground and I couldn't get a hold of them. I kept trying to get a hold of them to tell them what was going on. And there was no way it was like pouring, pouring rain. And there was no way I could have gotten the cats into the truck and gotten anywhere. So I just stayed here and prayed. So, oh, also that tornado that was 12 miles from here, there was no warning about it. So that concerned me even more, but I'm praying for our protection. Simo, are you afraid of the storm? She was just happy he just ate. Right, Simo, did you just eat? Yeah, she was eight. Henry's waiting. Oh, well, that scared him. Henry's waiting for his treats. There's Allie. Hello, Allie. The rain just got really, really heavy. The uh, crane fly's still there. It's quiet right now, sort of, but the power went out. You can see it's really dark in here. Oh, there's Henry. Henry's hoping that I'll get sympathetic and give him a nice treat. Right, Henry? Yeah, you're hoping for a treat? You were scared, weren't you? You're calming down. I just found this uh, special weather statement, severe alerts on my phone. Strong thunderstorms. Oh, hear that? Through 11.45 a.m. Oh, just felt the ground shake with that one. Normally this kind of thing wouldn't make me nervous, but after what happened with only talk of a thunderstorm and there was no warning for that tornado 12 miles away, it was an EF2. This stuff is a little concerning because I know that tornadoes can only come with a thunderstorm. That's what went on already. This is now. And it's going to be clear for until 6 p.m. Yay. I'm glad that's over. Henry says he's glad that's over. Right, Henry? Right, Henry? This is terrifying. Look at this lightning. It's really scary. It looks like an ambulance. We've never seen anything like it before. We were going to sleep. We had thunderstorm warnings today. We were going to sleep. And then Sal saw this weird flashing and he got up to look. Because it looked like an ambulance. And look how it just keeps flashing and flashing. It's really scary. We've never seen anything like this before. I have never, yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. I don't know what it is. See what it possibly could be? 
What? See what? Look it up on Google on your phone. To see what? What it possibly could be. High instability release. There is no thunder, right? There is. It's out in the distance. Let's check out our cats. What do they think? Where are they? I don't know where our cats are. There's Henry. You okay, Henry? Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Where's Seymour? There's Allie. You okay, Allie? Are you scared? I don't blame you, buddy. I'm scared too. Where's Hen where's where's Seymour? Oh. We're just <laughs> going with the flow, I guess. It stopped. Oh, it started again. There it goes again. But now it's not as often. The intervals where it's lightning isn't as often as it was. It's midnight and we were just terrified. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what happened. Let me explain what happened. We were sleeping and we heard... Well, Sal was sleeping. I was, I was still awake. <laughs> you were awake? Yeah. We heard a weather alert on the phone come off on the phone, come through the phone, and all of a sudden I started seeing flashing lights. Now I thought it was like a, a ambulance or an emergency vehicle or something, and there was none out out there. And I noticed it was lightning, and I heard lightning, uh, I mean thunder, in the background, and I just saw the flashing lights over and over and over again, and. Yeah. Earlier okay. in the in the in the evening, I mean earlier in the day, they were saying that there could be thunderstorms and possibly some tornadoes. I thought we might have been like possibly in the middle of a tornado or something. I didn't know. I've never been through anything like that, but it just kept flashing. I mean, it was lightning, but it kept it wouldn't stop. Lightning usually that I've ex experienced stops after a little bit. You know, you might see one or two flashes. And then it stops. This just kept going on and on for I don't know how many minutes. Flashing, flashing, flashing. And I don't know what was going on my through my head, through my head. I already said it might have been. I I didn't know if we were in the middle of a tornado, but it didn't sound like it was damaging or anything. I didn't hear any winds, and the thunder was kind of far off. We've been praying all night because we've been praying like to, for the storms to not even happen, and yeah. and the storms from earlier they dissipated. I mean, we're okay and everything, and we prayed for protection before we went to sleep. I haven't seen anything like this since weird weather like this since 2014 when we had 12 inches of snow. I mean, I'm not 12 inches. 12 inches would have been normal for, for Buffalo. Eight uh, feet. Eight feet of snow. And that basically, there's a bunch of stories about that. We've talked about that in previous videos. But that inspired us, I think, three years later to, you know sell our house get an rv and just travel get out you know it inspired him <laughs> inspired me inspired a long time ago <laughs> yeah so but anyway but i haven't seen anything like this we've had some weird weather when we first got here this season we had i think it might have been some kind of tornado or a weird windstorm it did some damage i saw trees knocked over in certain areas here and a lot of trees were ripped out right and there I, was a damage to one rv right I saw it come through actually when it first started. I was coming back home inside the RV and I heard it come through the, the woods, whatever it was. And luckily, you know, we were, God protected us and everybody in this area. It just went right through above us or something and it went down where it did the damage in another area. But the area where we used to be. Yeah. And the, the, the RV that was damaged and they had to get rid of the RV and get a different one. Right. That right. was two spots away from the where world. we were when we first came here the first exactly. year before we moved up into this section. Exactly. And so, like I said, it's just been a weird year with constant warnings. And so we didn't know what yes. the heck that was with the light. And again, all those things were going through my mind. It's 1 10 a.m. <laughs> Yeah. It seems like the storm's over with now. It's not lightning. It's not thundering. There's no thunder. There's no lightning. There's no rain. And the radar looks like uh, the radar shows that the storm is pretty much past us. So, yeah. Anyway, I think we're getting tired and ready to go to sleep. So, I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> I am too. 
So, Hopefully all right. I can fall asleep. This is really late for us. Yeah. We, we usually go to bed around 10.30, so. Yeah, so. 1.15 is quite late. Yep, so 